Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to contour. And if anything looks a little different, I did get a new camera, which I'm super happy about because now I can film with great quality. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Not that there was anything wrong with my camera before. I really did love that camera, but it was just time to get a new one so you guys could see a little better. And um, I love this camera so much. If you guys are wondering what the camera I'm using now, it's the Canon Rebel, the T5i. It's the one that everybody has on here. So that is the one that I got and I am super happy with it. I do love it. We are going to contour and I actually get a lot of questions about this um, from just random people I meet that subscribe to my channel and also like you guys as, as subscribers about how I contour and highlight and I also found some new contour and bronzing and highlighting powders from e.l.f. and they're like six dollars a piece so you can find them at your Walmart or I believe they still sell them at CVS but I'm going to use two different products today. I am going to use the Anastasia, the cream contour palette. And I'll show you how to cream contour as well as using the new um, e.l.f. palettes. I am going to be using their contour palettes and it looks like this. So it has four different shades in here. The only thing I did not see is I only saw one contour palette so I don't know if it's going to be universal palette or I don't know I just don't think it would work for medium to dark skin but I definitely feel like this would work for a light to medium skin. So the first thing you want to do is conceal and I am going to use my Maybelline Master Conceal and this is in the shade 20 light. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a triangle motion under my eyes. So the concealer is about a shade or two shades lighter than my foundation. So this is going to help brighten the under eye. It will not help correct. So if you have any type of dark circles under your eye that you are trying to correct, I would recommend using a like orange or salmon base tone uh, concealer, well corrector first. You would you would use a salmon or pink tone corrector before you would put on your concealer. I am just lucky that I don't really have a whole lot of dark circles. So I just have more of fine lines than dark circles. So again, I put it the whole way down. So I stop right about my nostril and then I'm bringing it the whole way out to the temples of the forehead. And this is just going to really highlight the face um, and bring the light forward. I'm going to use my Sigma F86 brush. I love this brush. So yeah, anything with a tapered end, you can also use a beauty blender. That's perfectly fine as well. Or your finger. Fingers are really great for concealing under the eyes, just kind of blending it out because it really warms up the product. So if you do not have a brush it's okay you can just use your ring finger it is the lightest finger so you can just use that one but I'm just going to slowly tap back and forth so it won't settle into my fine lines because I do have some lines under my eyes and not so much darkness just more of the line part so on one half of my side, this is going to be my powder contour, and the other half is going to be my cream contour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set one side of the face where it's going to be the powder contour, and this is the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect Powder, and it isn't translucent, but it does have like a pearlescent effect to it. Um, this is going to be my drugstore powder, but you can also use this one. It's a little bit more high-end. Um, this is the Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder, and I love this one to give you a little bit more brightness under the eye. So you can choose either one, or if you have any type of translucent powder will work. I'm just going to take a, another tapered under eye concealer brush, and I'm just tapping a good amount of the product on here. And I am going back in with my Sigma brush, and I'm just going to one more time lightly tap out any creases looking up so I don't get any of those creases and then I'm still looking up 
I'm just going to set under the eye area. And it should give me a little bit more brightness under there. I always, no matter what concealer I use, I still tend to have like one crease there, which is fine. There's not a whole lot I can do about it. Uh, some of my favorite concealers, just in case you guys are wondering, I really like the Urban Decay Naked Skin, the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, of course. Um, I've had it forever. Um, I really enjoy this Maybelline one as well. Those three are probably my top favorite right now. Okay, so one of the under eyes is set, and we are going to go back and set the other side later. Um, I just want to cream contour. So with the different contours, it kind of is just personal preference whether you would like to do a cream or a powders. Powders are a lot easier to do than a cream is. Cream takes more time, it takes more blending, it takes more brushes and product. So if you prefer to cream contour, you can. Um, but I personally prefer to powder contour. It's just easier for me to do. So I am going to start with the powdered side. And then I am just going to lay down some translucent powder on this half of the face. I will powder the whole entire face, but this side first so I can lay my um, contour shades over it. I do have two favorites. This is the Maybelline Master Fix translucent powder, and I love the Tarte Smooth Operating Powder. I am going to use the drugstore one for this tutorial just because I've been loving it lately. And I would just take a big powder brush, just like this one. This is the Sephora powder brush. This is number 60, but you can take any big brush. Uh, Real Techniques makes some that I really enjoy. Any type of bigger brush I find works a little bit better. Highlighters, I'm going to use this banana shade right here. And I'll probably mix both of the shades together just because I like a little lighter highlight. And then I am going to go in with the lightest shade first. And then I'll go in with a darker shade. So for highlighting under the eyes, I again like to take like a tapered brush like this one. And this is from Real Techniques. And I just like to brighten the under eye. You can skip this step since we already brightened a little bit with that L'Oreal powder. Okay, so for powder contouring... You can take a angled brush like this or a round top face brush like this one. I am going to use an angled brush. I'm going to use the new e.l.f. one here. And this is called their contouring brush. That's all it says. Um, it is part of their new line. So it is very dense and very tapered. So it's super easy to get a nice crisp line. I tend to like mine a little bit more uh, diffuse, so I will go back in with this brush here. And this is, again, this is the MAC 109 brush. Back into this contour palette, I am going to use the lightest shade, which is right here. They don't have names, but it's just a lighter, lighter brown shade. And I'm going to just tap the product on. Okay, so when you contour, you're looking for the hollows of the cheek, which is going to be from the tip of the ear down, or if you just kind of press into your cheekbone, you'll be able to find where the bone ends and there's just a little bit of tissue there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to place it down where I want it and just kind of blend. You can kind of see there's a line here and... We're just going to blend it out just a little. And I'm very, using very light pressure. I'm using very light pressure because I do not want this to move or wipe the foundation around. So then I'm going to go in with the darker powder here, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to tap it on my, my round top brush. And then I'm just going to blend it on top. Of that. It'll just give me a more blown out contour and it's not going to be as harsh. And then I'm going to take it on the temples of my forehead. These powders are very light um, and they're very cool toned so just be careful with them. 
I tend to like more warm tone powders just because they complement my skin a little bit better. And then of course if you don't want the double chin you can just go along the jawline and just really sculpt that out. And then if you need to do any type of extra bronzing, you can also get the bronzer palette. And it has quite a few shades in here, some lighter shades. There are some shimmery shades as well. Um, I'm just going to take the darker shade in here. And these are all very warm tone. They are not cool. They're very, very warm. And depending on how harsh you want your contour to be is going to depend on how much product you put on. So the more product you put on and the more straighter the line is, the more harsh it looks. So I'm pretty happy with how the contour looks here. And first impression of the brush and the contour palette, I like both of them, but there's a ton of fallout in them. So if you don't mind a little bit of fallout, then these would be perfect. And I think for $6, it's really good. So we are gonna move on to the cream contour side. And we did not set this under eye because I'm actually going to take these two shades here, which is the peach, it's neutral, and banana are the colors. So I'm going to take these two shades. I use a duo fiber um, angled brush is usually what I use, but I can't find it at the moment. So I'm just going to take uh, my foundation brush that I used, and I'm just going to dip a little bit in here and just highlight this area here. I'm also going to highlight a little on the chin, again down the nose, and then again on the forehead here. I'm then going to take my sculpting brush by Real Techniques and I am going to use these two shades right here. I always mix them together it is Light Sculpt in Java. I don't usually use Havana too much, but I do dip in it every now and again. Um, so I'm just going to take the two together. And I'm just going to, again, start pressing. I always like to press and then blend up. I feel like it doesn't move like my foundation around. So I'm just pressing it and moving it up and dipping back into the product when it's needed. Again, I'm just going to set with the Master Conceal and the Hydro, Pe Hydro Perfect by L'Oreal, and I will be right back. Just use the translucent powder all over the face to set that contour in place, and now I'm going to use this highlighting palette by e.l.f. as well, just to highlight the tops of the cheekbones, and I like to use this white shade here. This is my favorite one to highlight with. Um, I just like a more light highlight, and I'm just going to dust it on the cheekbones here. And I did also put blush on as well. I used this one right here. This is Milani's uh, Romantic Rose. Number one is the shade. So it just gives me a nice soft glow. It's not very shimmery. And I'm just using this fan brush. This is from Laura Mercier. So you can use a smaller brush if you want it more precise, but I just put it on the tops of the cheekbones. If you guys are wondering, I did use the new Milani Amour Matte Lip Cream. Looks like this one, I used the number 11. Precious is the name. That's the color I have on now. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed and learned a lot of how to contour and highlight. Again, I'm sorry if this video is kind of off. Still learning how to use my new camera, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.